Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. Can Texas Border Patrol search my vehicle without a warrant? At the U.S.-Mexico border, federal laws give U.S. government agents and officers significant authority to question and search individuals and their property. This authority is derived from federal statutes and regulations, including 19 CFR 162.6, which states that all persons, baggage, and merchandise arriving in the U.S. from outside are liable to inspection by a CBP officer. Routine searches at the border. Routine searches at the border do not require any reasonable suspicion or warrant. These searches are considered reasonable simply because they occur at the border. For instance, motor vehicles may be searched extensively, including removing, disassembling, and reassembling the fuel tank, search authority and conditions. CBP officers have the authority to determine the nationality of each applicant for admission and ensure they meet the requirements for entry under the Immigration and Nationality Act. They may ask questions about your trip, what you are carrying, and inspect your property to ensure compliance with U.S. laws. Consent and probable cause. While routine searches do not need a warrant or probable cause, more invasive searches require additional justification. Motorists may consent to a search, but they are not required to do so. However, if an officer has probable cause to believe a vehicle contains contraband or evidence of a crime, they can conduct a search without consent. Inland Searches versus Border Searches It's important to note that inland stoppings and searches are subject to different standards, Searches away from the border must meet higher standards, such as probable cause or consent, to comply with the Fourth Amendment. In contrast, border searches are more lenient. Legal Framework and Court Rulings The U.S. Supreme Court has upheld these search authorities in several cases. For example, United States v. Ramsey and United States v. Montoya de Hernandez support the notion that searches at the border are reasonable without any specific justification. Practical Implications if you are stopped at a border checkpoint, you may be asked questions about your citizenship and immigration status. You have the right to remain silent, but refusing to answer may result in being denied entry. You do not have the right to an attorney during the initial questioning and search. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.